This is our last video in our Superior Shipwrecks in 60 Seconds series, the George M. Cox. Originally known as the Puritan, it was built in 1901 for overnight passenger service and was luxuriously appointed as a result, with mahogany finishes, a grand stairway, dining room, and electricity. It could hold 200 passengers and was based out of Chicago. At the end of World War I, the Puritan was commissioned to bring U.S. troops home from overseas. In 1933, it was purchased by and renamed for New Orleans millionaire George M. Cox. On May 25, 1933, the Cox left Chicago bound for Port Arthur, Ontario with 125 on board. On May 27, Seventh, the Cox struck an underwater rock ledge near Rock of Ages Reef on the west end of Isle Royale. The passengers were thrown to the floor by the impact, and tables and chairs crashed into walls. The ship listed to port, and the passengers scrambled to starboard, where five lifeboats were lowered. The passengers and crew were towed to the Rock of Ages lighthouse by the keeper in his powered motorboat. They spent an uncomfortable night huddled on the lighthouse spiral staircase. While there were some injuries, no lives were lost. Initially, the wreck was in one piece, but October storms in 1933 caused it to break in two and sink into the lake. The bow section of the wreck lies in just 15 feet of water and has been damaged by ice and waves. The stern lies between 40 and 100 feet and still contains numerous artifacts. It is part of the Isle Royale National Park. Thanks for watching our shipwreck series. The Shipwreck Lake Superior exhibit is open until Monday, October 31st at the Legacy of the Lakes Museum.